Okay, in our previous video, we had talked about elimination reactions that can occur on alcohols to generate alkene products with the loss of water, our dehydration reactions. Now we're going to focus on a set of substitution reactions on alcohols, and specifically we're going to focus on how to generate alkyl halides from alcohols, substituting the alcohol group for a halogen. Now, just like what we saw for um, our elimination reactions, these substitution reactions are going to depend on what type of alcohol we have. And the first one we're going to look at, we actually we just we looked at it with elimination reactions, is uh, substitution reactions with tertiary alcohols. We said these are going to occur in competition with the elimination reactions we saw earlier, E1. But let's just review it really quickly. Um, let's see if I can get this pen to work. Here we go. So if we have, this is just review from the last video, we have a nice tertiary alcohol and we treat it with something like hydrochloric acid. We can protonate that alcohol to generate our good water leaving group. which can leave. And it leaves behind a nice carbocation intermediate that's tertiary. And instead of this chloride acting as a base to remove one of the beta carbon hydrogens, which happened in our elimination reaction, we can just easily have this chloride come in in a substitution reaction, quench that carbocation, to form our tertiary alkyl halide. Pretty straightforward, just uh, you know, a different fate of this chloride atom than what we saw with our dehydration reaction, and they both can occur at the same time. Now, when we have primary and secondary alcohols, let me put that in there. This actually happens with primary and secondary alcohols, right? Um, we have to do a different strategy. Again, we don't have a, we won't have a nice primary secondary carbocation that'll happen very quickly, and so we have to use other reagents in order to substitute that alcohol group, rip that thing off of there. And so let's um, let's take a look at a mechanism and a set of reagents that can substitute for a primary secondary alcohol. Okay, so here's a nice primary alcohol. One reagent we're going to use um, for this is the use of SOCl2, thionyl chloride. Um, that will substitute a chlorine for an alcohol group. Very similar reaction occurs if we use PBr3 if we wanted a bromide instead of alcohol. Uh, I'm going to focus on SOCl2 so you can get the mechanism and understand the strategy behind this. So SOCl2 is a reagent sort of similar to our POCl3 we saw with our dehydration reactions in that we have this central atom that has three very electronegative atoms around it and this looks kind of like a carbonyl and so we need to identify this as having a a partial positive charge, pretty healthy partial positive charge. Since our alcohol has a lone pair, it can be nucleophilic, and our alcohol will attack this very reactive sulfur. These electrons can come out to form our light bulb. Our light bulb can remind us that we can think of reforming this carb or this sulfur oxygen double bond. And the reason we can do that is because we got a decent leaving group. Now what that does is form this nice intermediate where our oxygen has formed a bond with the sulfur and we have released a chloride leaving group. Now this oxygen now has a positive charge. Now this 
alteration of our alcohol has generated a good leaving group um, instead of this terrible hydroxide leaving group. And so this can undergo an SN2 based reaction, right? And remember, this chloride is going to attack our substrate as our leaving group leaves. And it's very important to remember where this incoming chloride is going to attack. Oh, they always attack the alpha carbon. Okay, And so if we draw the mechanism for this, we're going to generate a new bond between the chlorine and the alpha carbon. This bond between our substrate and the leaving group will break. The net result is that we have generated a primary alkyl halide. The substitution has occurred, and we have ejected our leaving group, which is a stable leaving group. Okay. This substitution doesn't directly happen on the alcohol. We first have to modify that alkyl that alcohol group into a good leaving group in order for this SN2 base mechanism to be effective. Okay?